Hello everybody guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Make My Brick, and today we have set number 41623. This is the Ariel and Ursula Brickheads, and this set was released in July 2018 as part of the kind of weird summer exclusive Brickheads wave. It is an Amazon exclusive, which means you can only buy it on Amazon or at LEGO stores or shop at home. I did buy this from a Lego store. And the set contains 361 pieces and retails for $19.99, which is a lot of pieces for a $20 brick head set. And, you know, it's one of the um, lower price per piece out of the entire Brickhead's uh, theme. So, you know, on the lower side, the packaging shows Ariel and Ursula on the side, you know, from the cartoon. And, you know, it just shows them all around the back. Uh, and, you know, it's... The packaging design is relatively attractive. Ariel and Ursula are actually probably some of the most represented uh, characters in, you know, uh, in LEGO. They are, I believe, the only characters who have appeared as Brickheads, a mini doll, and a minifigure. It's interesting. It's kind of, kind of different and kind of cool. So let's see how the Brickheads stack up against the uh, mini dolls and minifigures and etc. And, you know, I guess the rest of the Brickheads theme in general. We'll take a look at Ariel first because she is the lower number of the two, being 64. Each of the Brickheads in these two packs gets their own separate instruction booklet, which is cool. And this does feel like a higher quality material, so, you know, uh, keep in mind it is folded like this in the box, but it does feel higher quality than, you know, your typical standard set instructions. And the actual build of the Ariel Brickhead is one of the most unique, if not the most unique, of all of them. Uh, this does use uh, what appears to be a majority of the parts in the set. Seems like it's way more complex than Ursula. Uh, she does have these standard Brickhead's eyes, and the only other print that she includes is this 1x4 brick with the seashells on there. You know, it's a good looking print and fits the Brickhead style pretty well. Um, but the hair causes her head to be built around the sides a little bit differently than your usual brick heads. She does have the standard brain in there and everything. But there's so much random sideways building, it's really quite impressive. You've got the studs going sideways here, and then it turns around, and you know, you're building outwards that way, and outwards that way. You're building downwards with these two bricks here, you're building out this way. There is so much building in so many different directions. You have some use of brackets to create slight offsets like that. You know, there is so much going on here, and it's a very, very, very interesting build uh, for the hair. The other thing that's very interesting is the tail. You'll notice it's not built anything like standard Brickhead's legs. Uh, her stand actually has to look different in order to fit it on there. You'll notice there's two headlight bricks there that you just attach in there. Uh, and it does make good use of this new teal color that was re reintroduced for 2018, um, along with this spring green for the end of the tail. Those colors, I think, work really, really well. And, you know, just kind of gets attached on like that. Works pretty well. I do notice that sometimes these pieces on the back uh, want to push themselves out a little bit. You know, it kind of wants to come apart sometimes uh, during the building process. Uh, and, you know, this will want to, like, have a gap there. But you, if you push all the pieces together, you, you can get it to look really, really, really good. Um, it, it just blends in pretty smoothly. And I was very impressed with the way that that turned out. Uh, I do think that uh, Ariel resembles, you know, the on-screen appearance really, really nicely, and, you know, it's just an impressive looking model on display. I, this is, uh, I've said this pretty much with the last several Brickheads reviews I've done, this I think is one of the best Brickheads that has been made to date, and I am very, very, very happy with it. Ursula, too, looks pretty impressive. Uh, she is, you know, Brickhead's number 65, and she gets her own instruction booklet. And, to be honest, from the box appearance, I was actually looking forward to Ursula more so than Ariel. Uh, just because, you know, I think that, you know, just her appearance was very good-looking. 
uh, just from the box uh, with the hair. I thought the hair was pretty well done, and I really appreciate the use of this Exonite's shield tile, um, just with uh, getting that angle on the front of her head. I don't know, I thought that that was pretty well done. Uh, from building this, I am still happy with it, but Ariel was super duper impressive. Uh, and I don't know if I would call this one of the best briquettes that they've done. It's still really good, and I'm very happy I picked it up, but I don't know, Ariel just blew this one out of the water for me, personally. Maybe your opinions will differ. She does have this unique 1x4 printed brick, um, which you know shows the top of her outfit uh, and the little shell. Uh, the one weird thing is it's not printed on the side, so you do get a little bit of weird cutoff there where you can see the purple from the front, and then, you know, it's just black on the side. That is uh, one of the few disappointing features, and I feel like it almost would have made more sense to print black on the 1x4 piece in um, the purple color, just because, you know, then you could say, oh, that's just going down there, and it actually gets cut around the side, because you can see that's what it's like on the back. I don't know, that... One thing right there is a slight imperfection, and honestly, I can't point out a single imperfection on Ariel, so, you know, that's another reason why Ariel ranks a bit higher for me. She does also have the tentacles. Um, they're just done like that six times throughout. Uh, I thought she would have had eight, but maybe I'm just mistaken and remembering wrong. Also, her, you know, arms are just standard. Uh, she does have these little one-by-one -one plates in medium azure behind her eyes. Which I think gives it a good look, brings in a little bit of the eyeshadow, I guess. And she does have the gray highlights on either side, as well as the earrings created by one by four, or one by one uh, quarter round tiles, uh, you know, just angled. And I think those are pretty effective. And from the back, her hair, you know, looks good. I like the way that they get it spiky up at the front, um, and they even stagger these little slopes just a little bit. So from the front, you know, you can still see the multiple spikes. And, you know, overall, I think that this is a good Brickheads, but I think it is surpassed in quality a little bit by Ariel. Also, again, her stand is slightly different, featuring two jumpers that fit into these um, two by two um, plates with the two studs on the front, um, which, you know, again, that's a little bit of a departure from the standard Brickheads build, but, uh, and also her head is built around a five tall um, frame. But she is still a little bit more standard feeling than the build for Ariel is. The build for Ariel is just way out there. I think that the two of these make a really, really good uh, pair. Um, you know, some of the brickheads that they've done haven't been like a hundred percent perfect pairing. I'd say most of them are pretty well selected, but you know, there are some that you could make an argument for other pairings. Here, I don't think that there's anything else you could have done. I mean, maybe you could have done Ariel and Eric, but, like, nobody cares about Eric, and he's not really recognizable. So I think this is a way better choice. Um, and I think that both of these are well-done brickheads. Ariel is definitely one of the best that they've done ever. And Ursula is really good as well. So overall, I would say that this set is one of the better ones that they've done. Um, it is an Amazon exclusive, so it's... Um, you know, not as easy to find on sale, if at all. Uh, like, I, I don't think you'll ever see this on clearance because Amazon doesn't really have to clearance stuff because it's all online. And you know, they may change their prices if they can't sell out, but I feel like they'll probably be more likely to just hold on to them and sell them at regular price. Uh, they are since you know they are a two pack you can't just buy ariel and not get ursula in some uh some of the two packs i feel like that kind of holds me back from wanting to buy them for example the ghostbusters one i would definitely buy a peter bankman one if it was available for ten dollars i don't know if i care that much about slimer i may or may not get that one eventually um but you know i don't know and also the fantastic beasts one i really really like the Newt Scamander one. Grindelwald's okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick that one up eventually if it goes on sale. But again, I don't know how much I care. And again, same thing applies to uh, the Owen and Blue Brickheads. I would probably buy Owen, but I'm not a big fan of the design for Blue. So, you know, that, that's just running a couple examples off. But I do think that this is really, really well done. I'd say I almost like 
this version of Ariel better than the minifigure version of Ariel. I don't know if that's... I don't know if I can commit to that, but it is a really, really nicely done Brickheads figure. And obviously I like them better than the mini dolls, just because I'm not a big fan of the mini dolls. However, the Ursula one was pretty decently well done. Uh, but yeah, overall, I would wholeheartedly recommend this. Uh, I think it is... I mean, even if you're just going to buy it for parts, it's a decent deal. Um, there's a lot of good red slopes, you know, all sorts of crazy things you can do there. And you do get a good amount of this teal color, which, you know, is, is a little bit harder to find. And I believe that this did introduce a couple of new parts in teal. Like, I believe this piece here is brand new in teal. Um... I, I don't know any others off the top of my head, but there's probably maybe something else. If not, it's just a good source of getting a couple teal parts for relatively, uh, you know, cheap per piece. Uh, but yeah, definitely one of the better Brickhead sets. Would recommend you try and pick this up before, you know, it retires. I think it still has a little bit of life left in it, but, you know, don't want to wait too, too long. Because I do feel like this set will be a little bit more valuable in the aftermarket being a store exclusive. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.